If I wanted to fly to the Sahara Desert, I'm not gonna get on a plane at JFK and then land in the middle of the desert. It's not how it works. Crypto is sort of the same and it's gonna make sense in a second. You don't just fly from JFK and land directly in the middle of the desert. You have to go through a series of hops to get there. Now in crypto, it's actually very similar. You're gonna take your local currency in your bank account, you're gonna turn that into some sort of crypto. And usually you're gonna have that first spot that you go to, which is gonna be Bitcoin or Ethereum. And then from Bitcoin to Ethereum, you can then go into all these other crypto tokens. The reason why when we're looking at a market correction, when you see everything start dropping by 30, 40%, usually you're gonna have one leader and everyone follow the leader because they're all interconnected. So if I have to go US dollars to Bitcoin or Ethereum into ABC123 token to come out, I've got to go the same way. And that is why they're all tied together in really big market shifts. So hopefully that can give you a little bit better understanding as to why it feels like the market is all holding hands, both through the really good times and the really bad times. Feel free to leave a comment below. If you've got any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Don't invest stupidly.